Good morning, Fit Fans. My name is Dan McAllister. I'm here today to do week number one, workout number five. We have a lot to do today, so I'm going to get started with a couple of things. I just rolled out right now with this foam roller. I do have a tutorial on how to use this. Just visit my YouTube channel at Dan Fitness, the number four, the letter U, and find out my tutorial how to use this. But I just did it right now before we worked out. <clears throat> today we're going to start with a little bit of, we got a lot going on today. We're going to do some pull-aparts, we're going to do some abduction and hip extensions, and then I want you to do five minutes of cardio on your, on your own. Then from there we got two circuits today. Do some wide push-ups, some crunches, plie squats, and some bicep curls with the band. Then we do some triangle push-ups, some W Superman, some bicycle crunches, and some lunges. So again, a lot going on today. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want you to do is you got one of these little bands that we talked about before. We're going to do a lot more of these in the coming weeks. So I want you to go ahead and wrap your arms here. Give me 15 pull-apart. Then breathe out as you come back. Keep your body nice and tight, core nice and engaged. Don't let your body start rocking back and forth. Nice and strong. Pinch back into those shoulder blades real tight. Really want to get that shoulder mobility going. Turn your palms up now. Same thing, this is a little bit harder. Really want to wake those muscles up here. Keep that core nice and tight. Perfect. Now we want to go up to the wall. Extend your hands out. So try to keep your body nice and straight. And what I want you to do is bring your leg back, keeping it straight, back at like a 45 degree angle. You want to really focus on lifting the leg up and bringing it back. Don't want to throw your hip all out there. Nice and controlled. I want 15 to 25 of these at a moderate pace. So you don't want to speed through it. Keeping the body core nice and engaged and the body nice and tall. You don't want to be leaning forward right now. We want to get these muscles to activate. After you do 15 to 20 on that side, use the same leg, keep that arm distance to the wall, and just go out to the side. We just want to warm those muscles up for what we're about to do today. All right, we're gonna do both legs here. Again, 15 to 20, 25 of them. And then switch legs for me. Continue your breathing, keeping your body nice and tall. Go through the outside. Try not to let your body lean. Try to just lift that leg up and keep your body tall. Get that arm there. Now, I want you to go give me about five minutes of cardio. Whatever you want to do. If you want to jump rope, get on the treadmill, get on the elliptical. Give me five minutes, get that heart pumping, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, we're back with some more. Hope you enjoyed that. I did five minutes of dancing, so I think I'm okay right now. So now we're going to do some wide push-ups. All right? So normally when we do some push-ups, we want our hands underneath our shoulders area right here. So I'm going to demonstrate right here. I want you to be right here in a regular push-up position, then bring your arms out wider. When we go down, we still want to pretend that our body's on a clock and our head is at 12 o'clock and our elbows are going to still go to 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. What this is going to do is going to work the outer part of your chest, the pec minor, and it's also going to get that back activated too. It's hard to do a lot of back workouts, but we're going to make sure we do them today. All right, it's going to come out wide here. I'm going to come down, back up. I want 10 of those for me. Breathe out as you go up. Nine, 10. Now we're gonna turn over. I want those crunches. Bring your legs up, hands behind your head, find a point on the ceiling, and crunch up. Breathe out as you come up. I want 25 of these today. Do not cross those legs over. 15, almost there.
25. Now we're gonna stand up. I want some plie squats. We did the other day. Remember, I want your heels right outside your shoulder width. Feet are angled out at a 45 degree angle. As you go down, shift the weight to the middle of the back of your foot. Breathe out as you go down. I want 15 of these today. There's eight. Make sure you can see yourself. If you have some type of mirror there, make sure you're not leaning forward. Not like this, okay? You put too much pressure on your back if you do that. I want three more. Now, I'm just gonna introduce these bands. If you have a set of bands with the handles, today we're gonna use those. You can put one foot, or you can do two foot if you wanna make it harder. Then we're gonna do some bicep curls. What I want you to focus on is your elbows towards the body. Bring your arms forward a little bit here. You're gonna curl up and back down. So you don't want your arms swinging all over the place. Nice controlled motion. As you come up to the top, I want you to focus on squeezing that bicep. Really making sure you're activating that muscle. Okay? I want 15 of these for me. 11. Breathe out as you come up. Perfect. That ends the first set of circuit number one. So what I would like for is all my beginners to do that circuit one time. My intermediate people do that twice. And my more advanced people do that the third time. Okay? Go ahead and complete those next two sets. One set or whatever you got to do. And I'll come back and we do the next circuit together. Talk to you later. All right, everybody. Hope you got your other sets in. Whether you, again, if you're a beginner, hope you did that one set and you're feeling good. If you're an intermediate person, you did two sets of it. And if you're more advanced, do three sets. Now we're gonna move on to our next circuit here, okay? We're gonna do some triangle push-ups or diamond push-ups. I want your hands made like a triangle or like a diamond. You can have a little separation there. And when you're coming down, you wanna make sure your elbows stay into your body. We don't want them going out. We can give you 10 of these today, okay? Down, back up, down. We're really trying to activate those tricep muscles. Those are the muscles on the back of your arms. Really complete the push up by really extending up. I want 10 of these. Last one. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do a Superman, but today we're gonna do a little W with it. What we wanna focus on is getting those shoulder blades to track just a little more of a mobility exercise for you. Meaning, we're gonna come up into the Superman, and instead we're gonna come down, squeeze into the shoulder blades, and it's gonna come back up. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Up into Superman, Superman, squeeze down. Really wanna squeeze those shoulder blades down. I want 10 of these. Really want to squeeze down, try to make your body a W. Have somebody look at you if you want to make sure you're doing it right. One more. Perfect. Next, we're going to turn over. I want 25 bicycle crunches each side or 50 total, however you count them. Here we go. Ready and go. Get those shoulders off the ground. Ten. Really push that lower tummy down to the ground. There's twenty for me. Perfect. Last thing you want to do, we're going to do some lunges. I want you to focus on keeping your body nice and tall. And I want you to go down. Make sure your body stays straight as you go down. We do not want your knees to go forward. I know people say lunge, but I do not want you to lunge your body forward. I want to protect those knees as long as we can. We're going to go down as tall. Lunge down. 
Go down to a comfort level for you. If you can't go down to the floor like that, don't. Listen to your body. If you go down like leaving halfway, that's better than nothing. I want 10 of these for me. Look at that body, watch your form. There's 10. Come on back to the other leg. Breathe out as you come up. Perfect. All right. Same thing goes for that. If you're a beginner, do one round of it. If you're an intermediate person, do two rounds. If you're more advanced, get three rounds. After you do all your workouts, finish it off with 10, 15, 20 minutes of cardio for yourself. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this week. Again, like me on Facebook at Dan Fitness, the number four, the letter U. Follow me on Instagram. Same thing, Dan Fitness, the number four, letter U. Or subscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube page. It's Dan Fitness, the number four, letter U. Watch that tutorial on the phone rolling. Watch this video. Share with others. And I'll see you soon. Also on YouTube, don't forget to hit the little notification button. That will alert you every time I put a video up there for you. All right? I hope you enjoy. God bless. Stay safe. Stay healthy.